This lesson is to show you how to display a list of items coming from an API like this onto a UI. For instance, in, in list of friends, I want to display a list of uh, friends on a HTML table right on this page. I've already explained how to build this UI and also how to add Angular routing to be able to navigate from one page to another. So I want to display list of friends in this page, okay? And I have the list of friends is coming from an API right here. Now the step-by-step -step procedure to do this is right here. So let's quickly follow it and then fetch. Uh, first of all, we are going to fetch this item and then we are going to display it. So we are going to be using Angular and this is the Angular application. I would like to first uh, arrange the windows side by side so that I can see uh, both the step by step and also, yeah. So this is the Angular application. If I go back to the Angular routing demo, you can see that nothing shows up in this page, okay? Um, so I'm going to First of all, I'm going to go to the friends component of HTML. You can see these are friend, uh, friends component. The first thing I would like to do is wrap everything around here onto a container. So I, I'm going to say div class is equal to container. Okay. So if I say class is equal to container and everything is simply going to be in between the div and slash div tag, and I save everything at this point, you will likely see uh, just give me one second. So let me just let me check. Biaro. So it seems uh, the 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 what is displayed is hiding behind the. Okay, you can see friends component now. I'm going to show you how to uh, manage this uh, this problem. But for now, let's fetch this data from the from the API. So there are a number of steps you need to take for you to fetch data from a back-end API like this and display it on a UI. The step-by-step -step is here, so feel free to visit and, and use all the codes and the steps right here. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. So the first thing we want to do is to add the HTTP client module to your app module.ts. The reason is because the HTTP client module is a module responsible for displaying uh, or for uh, making HTTP client uh, requests. So come to your uh, to your app model.ts and then import HTTP client model like this, HTTP client, HTTP client module, make no mistake about it because sometimes you may just say HTTP client and that, that will not be correct. All right, the next, th the next thing you want to do is in your friend component.ts file, you need to write a class that represents the friend, uh, the, the data structure you want to import. In this case, we have, uh, let me see if I can display this correctly. So in this case, we have ID, first name, last name, department, email, and uh, country. So you need to create a class that will represent object of this type friend. All right, in my case, you have to create it in this way. So this is the, the syntax for creating a class. Depending on the data structure you want to display, you want to create a class that corresponds. So simply copy it and then uh, where will you put it? It says in your friend component.ts file, that is the first thing after the import statement, you are going to place it right here. So right here, you are going to, uh, you are going to create your, the class you want to use, okay? Now, uh, so it gives error, that's, that is not a problem. Now in the step three, we want to uh, also on the friend component, add friends variable of type friends, that is array of friends objects, okay? Uh, so we need a variable which is an array of friends that is going to hold the, the items when it comes. Uh, but give me one second. Actually, this class here will actually not be in here. It will be, it will be in our friends component.ts file, not in the app module.ts. So in the in the component.ts file where you want actually to to uh, which handles uh, the list of items. So I'm going to just paste it right here. Okay. So. We also need uh, uh, add friend variable 
which is an array of friend objects. So where are you going to add it? You are going to add it somewhere here. Just create a new variable that is going to hold an array of friend objects. So simply say friend is going to be an array of friend like this. Okay. So there is a syntax friend like this. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So at this point, we want to write. We also need to add HTTP client variable as parameter to the constructor. So right here, we need to add a variable. I'm going to call it HTTP client. It should be of type HTTP client like this. Okay. And it's going to be private. Make no mistake about it. If, if, you, if it's not private, then most likely you have issues. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm going to remove this. Okay. So the step five at this point is for you to, to uh, write the get friend function. Now I'm going to write it out by typing it out instead of copying it out because by typing it, I'll be able to explain it to you exactly how it works. So let me just shift this. So first you want to give it a name. You want to say get friends. Okay. So when you say get friends, normally when you are returning an item, it's either going to be a list of item or a single item. So you don't need to specify for now the item type. So open and close bra uh, braces and you say these.http, these.http, uh, so you see a typo I have here. It's going to be HTTP right here, not hate, not TTP. Let me make room so that we see exactly what is happening. Now, if you see all these errors, it's normal. Uh, it's trying to force you to follow good coding, uh, uh, a very good coding standard. Hey, this is HTTP client .get, Okay. So what you want to get, you can get anything. So you can you call it get any. Okay. <clears throat> So at this point, you need to specify the URL of the items you want to get. So this is the URL of this item, of the items. So specify it in here in single quotes, and then you are going to say dot subscribe. So in this way, what is happening is that you are creating it, uh, you are allowing it to fetch item from this URL in an asynchronous manner. So it will only be when these items are available that is going to, to return them. So we want to assign whatever is returned will be response. That will be the response. And I'm going to create a Lambda, a Lambda function or anonymous function that is going to be executed when this response comes back. So when this uh, response comes back, I'm going to simply assign it to the friends uh, object I created. So this is friend dot friend is equal to response. Okay. So this is how it works. So get friends. So make typo here. Okay. So now I'm going to say uh, command S to save everything. I think uh, everything should be fine. Okay. So however, for this function to run, you are going to put it in the on init uh, method. So I'm going to call this function in the on init method so that when this component loads, it's going to execute the get friend, execute the get friend method. All right. So when the component loads, it's going to execute the get friend method. So, but now how do we know whether it comes? Let's see if we can log it on the console. So I'm going to say console, console.log. And I'm going to say a response. Okay. All right. So at this point, if I save everything, command S, and I go back here for now, nothing is showing on the on the page because we've not displayed anything. So if I go to view page source and I go to not view page source, actually inspect page so that I can see the console. Uh, if I go to console, you can see an array of six objects. We have these items right here in our Angular application. So we've been able to fetch these, item, these items using uh, Angular. And it's very 
few steps as you can see fetching data so i want to keep these videos very uh, very short the next thing i'm going to show you is how to actually display on a html table right like this i like to recommend you keep following these short tutorials in the previous one i actually made a lesson on how to build a uh, ui I, I already made it very very easy this UI here, I also explained how to add Angular routing before now. So please feel free to follow the steps, subscribe to my channel, and also visit this website frequently because you are going to always find something new in this website. So in the next part, we now see how we can display uh, data on HTML table. It's gonna be simple. Or you can actually do it by yourself, but let's do it in the next lesson. I'm going to stop here. I remain kind on the Tech Pro. If you have any challenges, please let me know in the comment box below.